Welcome to the Shotgun Desktop Overview video. We would like to give you a quick tour of the interface to help get you familiar with it. Once it is installed on your workstation, you launch Shotgun Desktop like any other Windows application using the icon located on your desktop or via the Start menu. With a fresh installation, you need to enter your site URL, then your username and password. The URL and username are remembered on subsequent launches of desktop. If this is the first time running Shotgun Desktop on this system, it performs an update and restarts itself. The delay time may vary depending on how your site and systems administrators have things configured. There are some TLS certificates generated on first launch to support the browser integration which allows the Shotgun web interface to communicate with your workstation file systems. Just click through and accept those. On first launch on a workstation, the default behavior is to minimize to the system tray. Look for the SG logo in the tray and click on it to expand the interface. After you have run it, it will remember your window position the next time you launch. The lower right menu is called the User Menu. We will step through each of these items in a second, but if you use the right mouse button anywhere in the UI itself, you can access this same menu. It's just a quick tip to help you out. Let's just hold the menu here so that you can see the different things that you have access to. Your username and site URL are in the top section. The Pin to Menu and Keep on Top options are for the desktop window itself. Refresh projects will sync information with your Shotgun server. The About, Help, Sign Out and Quit options do what you might expect. The Advanced menu has Show Console, so let's do that now. You see that it creates a sidecar interface that has some basic functions using the right mouse button. Also in Advanced, we have the ability to toggle debug logging to give more information for the technical people supporting your Shotgun ecosystem. You will see a list of the projects you are currently assigned to. In the lower left of the interface, the word Shotgun is actually a hyperlink to take you to your site using your system web browser. It is crucial to note that you must use Mozilla Firefox or Google Chrome as Microsoft Edge and Internet Explorer are not supported. Click on the project thumbnail to access the project from within desktop. You will note the spinner indicator and the ability to toggle more or less details as it initializes the project for your use. There are collapsible groups within the interface to help organize things better. All of these are configurable, so don't worry if yours does not look exactly the same as the one on screen. You may have different naming and products configured. In the upper right corner, the triangle menu hosts a few options here as well. The defaults include the ability to create a development sandbox, open the folder where the shotgun desktop logs are located, and launch a Python console. Again, don't worry if there is more or less in your menu as it is customizable. Another important behavior to learn is that when there are multiple versions of the same product available on the workstation, they become stacked with the launch icon. Let's look at Red Pro as an example of this. It is critical to use the product launch icons from within Shotgun Desktop for Alias, Red, Maya, and Photoshop, as that will ensure that those integrations with Shotgun work. No more using your desktop icons or start menu for that purpose. That concludes this brief introduction to the Shotgun Desktop application. Thank you for watching.